Moving on now, the Queensland Premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk, has accused the Liberal National Party MPs of making her the target of a sexist attack in a fiery parliamentary debate over the state's housing crisis. Let's bring in our Brisbane Bureau Chief, Adam Walters. Adam, I understand the Premier has attacked the men on the Queensland opposition benches. What does she have to say? Yes, Ash, the row started with a perfectly reasonable question from the Queensland opposition leader about delays over the delivery of urgently needed accommodation for disadvantaged families. The question came ahead of this afternoon's round table on the housing crisis in Queensland, where homelessness has increased 22%, almost three times the national average. Here's the opposition leader. Yesterday marked 650 days since the Housing Investment Fund was announced by the Palaszczuk government. After almost two years and three housing forums, can the Premier point to a single Queenslander living in a property built by this fund? Ash, the cameras of the parliamentary chamber then caught what appeared to be the speaking notes for the Premier literally thrown under her nose. But before she addressed the question, Anastasia Palaszczuk launched this extraordinary attack. The fund has only just been set up, Mr Speaker, and it takes time. Order. So rude. Always so rude. Yep. And it's always the men. Well, that set the tone for a heated parliamentary session in which the Education Minister, Grace Grace, then fired up for a withering attack on the opposition leader for what she claimed to be his cluelessness on workforce planning for Queensland schools. Ask the question not once, not twice, but three times about any workforce planning policy that they had, and they failed to get one answer. Ash, that MP chuckling away to the left of the Education Minister was the Deputy Premier, Stephen Miles, who seemed to be enjoying the display a lot more than any teacher who may have been regretting a primary school excursion to the Queensland Parliament today. Ashley.